halfway through the challenge already, that's been really fast. I have some feedback from my check-ins, mainly to my girls, but this will hopefully resonate with all of you and be useful to everyone. There is still a fixation on scale weight. Now, I know that no matter how many times I say it, you're all still going to care about scale weight. But just to reiterate, lack of weight loss on the scales is not a failure. Just going to say that again. If you have not lost weight on the scales, that does not mean you are not making progress. And one more time, the scales can be extremely misleading. Do not judge your whole progress on what the scales say. There are so many benefits to a healthy lifestyle, exercising, being active and eating well, aside from weight loss. In fact, it wouldn't even come in my top five. Some of you have even said that although you haven't lost weight, you feel happier, healthier, stronger, you're performing better in the gym, you look better in your clothes. Come on, these factors are so much more important than what you weigh. And you know that. I'd quite like to come and smash some of your scales because I know you'd be so much happier with your progress, not looking at the scales. However, I will restrain myself for now. I always see the best results for fat loss when people take the pressure off themselves so they're not fixated on what they weigh each day, each week, if they've lost or gained. Do not overthink it. If you stick to the calories I've given you, get your activity levels in and get in that gym and exercise hard, you will get results. It's as simple as that. Do that consistently, that's another key, consistency, and you will get results. And further to this, once you take that pressure off yourself, you'll start enjoying it more. And that's a huge factor in long-term success. So enjoy the next four weeks, enjoy the new program I've given you because it should really challenge you guys. And I promise you, if you are consistent and you stick to your goals, fat loss will come.